Yo, yo, people, get you doing here for another video. This video, guys, is going over a showcase of the Blazer Aqua from the import slash export update in GTA 5. This vehicle is crazy. Like, it's mind blowing how good this vehicle is. It does multiple things. First thing that's major about it is it drives on land. Okay, you're probably thinking, okay, lots of vehicles drive on land. It's fast on land. Okay, that's another good thing. It also drives in water. Yeah, you heard me right. It drives on land and in water. You switch the mode of the vehicle once you're in the water and you zip. And then once you're on land, you switch the mode again and there you go. You don't have to switch the mode in order to dive in water, so don't think that you're going to be driving, hit water and you just sink. No, no, no. You can dive in water in the driving, in like the regular mode that drives on land, but it's just really, really slow. But, it's okay guys, it's faster than like a sailboat, but like anything is. But, if you change the mode, you are whipping. Like, it's faster than most uh, vehicles that are meant for water, like most boats. But yep, okay, so it is a one-person vehicle. Kind of sad, I wish it was two people. I don't get why it's not, but it's not. It's pretty big, so I think that they should make it so it's two people. And also, like, jet skis are two people, right? So... I feel like this should be able to go in water, um, it should be able to hold two people, it does go in water. Um, yeah, it also guys has a minigun, that's kinda good. It doesn't have anything else, but it has like a minigun that's on the buzzard attack chopper, which is really cool. Now the one downside guys about this is the cost, okay, it's like one point, it's over 1.7 million dollars regularly. And you need a special garage, the war garage, and then, which is like a million and something dollars or whatever for like the lowest one. And then you have to get this vehicle, but, but, here's like the kind of benefit, which is, it's still not that good though. If you get the secure servo thing, um, yeah, it's still expensive, but it is going to bring you down to 1.3 million dollars instead of 1.7, which is good. I still wish though it could be a little bit lower. Uh, vehicles that this says it's similar to are the Blazer, the Quad, the Blazer Lifeguard, which makes sense, the Hot Rod Blazer, Street Blazer, so like all the Blazers, Technical Aqua, Vortex, Bover 64, I think that's how you say it, Bover 64, I don't know, and the Split 6 ATV. Those are the vehicles that it's similar to. And guys, I just want to say that if you ever get the chance to drive this vehicle you're gonna see it turns very well in land and on water it is it's crazy it is literally crazy and the vehicle guys is stunning you can also upgrade it uh, just like any other vehicle which is really cool there's lots of upgrades you can do very simple first person view now do guys note that it will kind of bug out the first person when you're in water that's it's like that for like all boats and stuff like that so yeah it's not the best but whenever a wave goes in front of your face your camera will go third person again which kind of kind of stinks uh the little bit of info that it says guys is the top speed is 78 to, uh to 125 miles per hour or kilometers per hour so it's oh sorry okay 78 miles per hour and then 125 kilometers per hour and that's not upgraded has six gears uh so far they have not released anything with the handling the drivetrain is all-wheel drive uh 50 percent forward and 50 percent reverse which is really cool the weight is uh 550 kilograms and then 1213 libs and the fuel tank size is 10 liters, which isn't really useful unless you're playing with mods that gas actually matters. Um, yeah, honestly guys, if you do have the money in GTA, get this. It is worth it. It is very good. It is very cool. It's, it's awesome. It's like a mini tank, which I just love. I think that they should have added something like this a long time ago. There is, though, another vehicle that they added that drives in water and drives on land which that video when it's out will be linked probably on screen now 
uh, definitely look at that so you can see which vehicle you prefer and that's it I have for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed click the thumbs up button and be subscribed and comment guys what you like about this vehicle and what vehicles you think should be added to GTA as well as your thoughts on the import and export update I personally love this update I'm hoping you guys do too I'll see you guys in the next video you guys are awesome bye bye